I, is it true you won a regional championship? I actually did. With that deck? With this exact deck. Oh, wow. This is actually my deck. <laughs> That's the actual deck that you took to a regional and won. The one deck. <laughs> the one deck. Yep. The but after a consistent string of top fours and top eights, I, you're, you I, pulled, I, you pulled it doing, off? Uh, yeah, I've been uh, doing that top four thing. Yeah. And then uh, I heard that Klaus usually uh, gets to top two. Yeah. And then he just throws it yeah, all he, away. And, and, and I was, I was, I, I didn't want to take his spot with the top two throw away. And I had been keeping my top four thrown away. But then I met you and then I thought, might as well I do go the keep way. the European champions ass and run out of the world. So. Uh, I decided, and then, and then, of course, making it to the finals. Um, I had, I couldn't, I couldn't be Klaus. No, nobody can be Klaus. There's only one Klaus. Yeah. Marcel did a pretty good job. Though. But your deck looked super, super strong uh, all uh, all day, actually. I did. I did have a, a really good run. Um, you, uh, you were almost undefeated in Swiss. I was almost. It was only because of Klaus and uh, yeah, and between was little, me and Klaus. Yeah, a little bit of a, there was a little bit of a confusion in confusion the Confusion and yeah, I was I was definitely tired at that point. Um, yeah. Really. Uh, and you you beat your quarterfinals 2-0. You beat me 2-0, and then you pull a tight. Best of three in the, in the finals? Yeah, actually, uh, the quarterfinals, uh, my uh, testing partner, Pete, he actually um, scooped. Oh, yeah. yeah well, right. well, we I, I, I asked him to at least play one game and then see if, if I lost or not. But he was playing three wide mill. I also met him in round one. And yeah, it's a pretty much... Uh, yeah, it's, a, it's a tough matchup for three wide. I was, I was surprised of how... You know, good mill we're doing actually we so we uh Klaus and i were both playing uh fat hero shadow caster yeah and uh i um i thinking there wasn't going to be any mill i caught my shadow generator and my vandalize <laughs> you uh, did but you always go all accurate so i i went all in on uh, actually all in on mitigation uh, for for my list of, uh, of the the fat vehicle so just to be able to control the opponent's dice and uh, just uh, build up some big resources and shadow and it worked great all tournament and then I hit you and then you of course you play the EMP grenade and just shot my shadow caster or you just put me in a spot where I couldn't do anything yeah and that was uh, uh, both games two, that was it. Two, yeah. uh, it was pretty easy for you yeah actually. and I couldn't find my EMP to when I was uh, when I was facing Klaus oh, well, your, and, uh, your, your single EMP you couldn't find it in your third card deck no that, and that's lucky. strange <laughs> yeah but, but the thing is I'm, I'm pretty lucky <laughs> so I was I was actually I usually li live on luck and uh, I'm actually doing my tournament report and uh and, and mostly it's just me saying I was pretty lucky <laughs> and here I was probably pretty lucky but uh, uh, I'm but excited yeah. to get to play against and this is just your 30 cards winning deck list uh, this is my 30 card this is the yeah. this is the matchup that uh, or this is a uh, de deck that popped up in a response to mill yeah uh, it, should, was, it should be a pretty easy or pretty fairly good matchup for me yeah um, and I have no idea how to beat it no, I was uh, really fearing that uh, people would uh, be catching on to this. Yep. Um, but uh, but there was only I think two at the tournament, and I dodged both of them, and I even dodged uh, one of the top eight uh, contenders. Yeah, because um, I took care of him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, thank you, Klaus. That was for us, uh, that was for for the mistake in round uh, six, I think. Uh, you owe that. But this so this is a pairing that struggles a little bit against uh, aggressive fat mid -range, or fast mid range strategies. Uh, can also fall a little behind on very hard ramp decks uh, but it serves very, very well against mill especially against mill yes yeah. it should be either you know your power action with snoke and the damage you take doesn't matter with you have thief to generate extra money and you have the focuses mm -hmm. to make sure you got consistent dice and of course you have the power action of Tarkin to yeah. even though they blank your dice you yeah. can just yeah. always get damage yeah. out of them so like, it Which just makes a all force works. jump and, and a lot of the mitigation package yeah. uh, even Begal uh, so not that good. It all works very, very well yeah. uh, against especially Milo, Especially yeah. too wide, actually. Yep. So and, uh, and I think uh, Petri, for example, uh, my, my testing partner as well, and, uh, is, he actually picked three wide, fearing uh, sure. Tag and Snoke, and, yeah. and yeah. thinking that he had the bigger health pool, he would stand a better chance. Mm. But uh, I was just lucky yeah. and uh, didn't run into well, any of these. But, but I mean, we'll see how, yeah, it, uh, I mean, how it goes. I actually had, haven't had. I didn't have time to test against uh, Target Snoke at all before the regional, so I was really 
unprepared for it, and I, mean, I still haven't. Yeah, it. <laughs> but it doesn't get much better than you f as a mill player. Uh, so uh, I'm excited to see how how it goes here, and uh, if it's as good as Magic as I think it is. Mm -hmm. I think I'm heavily favored, but you know we'll see after uh, after couple or after game uh, how yeah. it actually feels. It might play out a little different. Yeah. Uh, you know, spending big focuses and then getting them beguiled and stuff like that might uh, change the favor. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see. There's also some uh, some path and flames and uh, yeah, action flames going on. Yeah. 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 All right. Uh, yeah, I'm, 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 yeah, I'm trying to get my head around uh, how to beat that deck. But uh, I do think it, it it's definitely beatable, but I think it's in uh, in your favor. Um, so I actually teched in some cards for this deck. Um, well, well, they were in the... But, but it was always a big... I was back and forth on whether to keep going mind trick or retreat. Uh, and uh, this deck was actually one of the reasons why I uh, chose to stick with Retreat, simply because it, uh, it, it can get you out of trouble yep. fairly fast, and this seems to be a slower deck. And, this and, is very slow uh, deck, and, yeah. and Retreat can... Um, it works like a mind trick. Yeah. <laughs> right? It, I mean, it does. Basically, yeah. it does work like a mind trick. Yeah. The, and, and the thing about mind trick is that it's spot blue. Yeah. Uh, so if Yoda goes down fast, you will suddenly be stuck. Also, if you play overconfidence already, so you might be stuck with too many cards in your hand that mm -hmm. you can't get rid of. Yeah. I, I think it's a really good choice. And, yeah. and if your opponent uh, reads you on mind trick for the, for this deck, for instance, yeah, I'll just focus one die at a time, just start mm -hmm. resolving mm -hmm. a little bit of the time, power action away. Exactly. So with, with the power action, even with yeah. his, I mean, the sides are just very compatible with these two, and yeah. so so it's very easy to just, yeah. No matter what pile you use, uh, you'll 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 get to that power action at least. And, and, and you will you'll, you'll most likely be finding four or six damage, no matter what ki what combination of dice you have left. Yeah. In the yeah. So uh, I heard. Uh, so uh, Covenant Masters uh, Team Covenant's um, annual tournament just took place. Uh, we had a lot of spoilers coming out. They played some test games with uh, Jeremy Swern, where they were spoiling, of course, uh, Palpatine unlimited power. Yeah. Um, they did have a Q&A session and they talked about Feed. Um, Jeremy said that they had been surprised at how powerful Feed turned out to be. Wow, um, and, and that they might actually... Um, I, he, he, would, he didn't say anything different, but that's Jeremy's one. He doesn't really say about certain things. <laughs> um, but, uh, but they might look into um, uh, changing Feed. What do you guys think about that? I just the amount of places Seven. that would make a lot of sense. All right, so you get to choose. You take mine. All right, I think that's the right choice. Uh, basically, in any matchup for this deck, uh, it, it simply just gets those extra mill cards uh, away, especially against a deck like this. And, and you would also um, say it's counterintuitive to bring taking ground if you are not going to pick your battlefield exactly. consistently, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Then you might as well bring fortify. Or yeah. But yeah, again, back to the feed. Uh, I do think, I do think it needs to change. Uh, I mean, how how can they? But the, they design sets, you know, mm -hmm. way in advance. And but seeing at Worlds, you ran the Rayla profitable connection. Mm -hmm. People saw how important the ramp was, getting that three drop out, uh, using the, the the better sides for destiny, and mm -hmm. just ramping your board state in round one. And then they make a battlefield that just. Yeah, yeah, yeah gives you uh, yeah, extra and, resource and, for and, free. <laughs> and also, I mean, with profitable connection, you pay three character points to get profitable connection, yeah. and, and, and feed is free. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to play. Uh, oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> I think you're uh, supposed to just get token in there and see, right. see what's yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, I see. <laughs> and we're going to pacify that. Yep. So that's why, that's the, the single die side of Tarkin, which is more powerful than draw. Yeah. Yeah. The single die side. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, whenever you hit that one, it, it just presses your opponent. He has to have the mitigation or yeah. get his hand blown apart. Yeah, and I, I actually think the right choice for me would also be activating Leia sure. and uh, getting her sure. dice in the pool. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, well, that's what I'm going to do now. But this is sort of the same situation here where I am uh, going to need to do some thinking here. I think I'm going to play my handheld cannon here. Mm -hmm. Hmm. All right, I'm just gonna keep clearing out my hand, I think. I'll play a change keep here. Yep. So, what I'm probably gonna. You have two cards left. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah. So I'm gonna do the four speed. And I'm gonna change this. Basically, just into you know, this and this, and take a few last cards. There you go. These two here. Yeah. And well, I should probably use the. You, you know, you'll do that. Sure. Um, and I'll take a resource. Oh, we are over here. So you just you're still resolving specials, yeah. and then you yeah. add that extra. And then yeah. we mill one. Uh, so you resolve special, then you milled my hand. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna get out of Snoke here, and I hope to find just some focus. Mm -hmm. Doesn't uh, Matthias still have an action? No, so he uh, no used, he used uh, it for focus. focusing. Uh, ah, you focus focused. Into, ah, yeah, yeah. and the result. Okay. Ah, okay. And I think this would be. Uh, you have no resources. No resources. No. I'm gonna play the beguile. Um, this point. And this uh, sorry, I, uh, I forgot all three mill triggers, yeah, yeah, but yeah. I played three upgrades yeah. one. Uh, actually, it's Ooh. me who uh, actually should yeah. remember, but yeah, we're being a gentleman. <laughs> um, and for this, uh, I would uh, probably... Hmm. See, I don't want you to get any of the same sides no. and I don't want you to get a resource so what I could basically do is uh, ask you to re-roll that re-roll him mm -hmm. yeah. and then I can turn this to any side which uh, does he have a shield no um, Hmm. Yeah, it's pretty I think, rough. I think, I, I, I think the most favorable for me right now would actually be the disrupt still. And then I would uh, remove this. Mm. And then you're stuck with nothing. So that's the thing about Bigal, right? Because very often, so it's one of the most powerful mitigation yeah. cards. But when you play a Bigal, you need to have a plan in place. You need to have a damn plan? You, you, you <laughs> need to know which, which die are you going to yeah. remove, right? Yeah. That has to be your first consideration. Yeah. And then you actually go backwards yeah, from there. Right? backwards, yeah. All right. So you haven't used your power action yet, so uh, I will be disrupting you on. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then I'll use uh, the power action to mill two. I'll take two at the top. And I will claim here. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do a short, uh, just talk over the round here and yeah. see. So you did actually get fairly deep into my deck. I am now uh, eight cards gone. Mm -hmm. so and I built some pretty good ones as well. Yeah, you got, you got some, some good ones out of there. Uh, but uh, at this point, if they're not in my opening hand, I don't care for a lot for, for Holocrons for in this matchup. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I did get a lot of ramp going. Yeah, uh, not a lot yeah. of ramp actually, but uh, uh, just a lot of uh, yeah dice in the pool, and that's the, basically what the what the what the deck needs. So I, I think I'm doing okay, but this round of course wasn't as good for me as I would have hoped. But uh, no, I think um, I wasn't sure if I should take the discard on Leia, but I, I it was a measured thing. I, I think the beguile could probably, uh, as we talked about, mm -hmm. we should probably sequence it different because because basically if I had thought it through, I could probably say that if I roll. Well, basically, Tarkin has a die that I don't want to see anything on it, anyways. Yeah. And he was showing it blank as well, and I yeah. wanted to remove one of the blanks. So and you didn't want to want to yeah. get resolved. So, right? so I, I had a hard time to see how I could have done it much more differently. Mm. Yeah, because the way it was that you wanted to get rid. I mean, you already knew in advance yeah, yeah, that yeah. you'd keep these ones in yeah, the pool. Yeah, yeah. So you want to get rid of one the of the resources. Yeah, yeah, right? exactly. Yeah. 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 So, um, but that's the thing about Tarkin and Snoke's dice. They're so good. Mm -hmm. That when you start re-rolling them, that's horrible. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. All right, I'm gonna get Snoke into the pool here. I'm hoping to see exactly that four speed special. Yeah. And um, yeah. Okay. Play my hit and run. And discard two. When you actually hit it, it's good, but uh, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. We'll talk through the round afterwards. <laughs> and that was pretty good for me. So uh, I will try to copy that. Maybe, <laughs> maybe this uh, this this combination here might be powerful enough that I don't want to yeah. 
waste my four speed spells and just activate it because there's only 30% chance of getting there. Yeah. Uh, I could also play this card here. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, he only has four cards in hand, so uh, if I do hit my 30%, I am pretty favored to actually just to steal this round, steal this right? round yeah. very, very easily. This is interesting so far. I think I'm gonna take it slow here. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Uh, see how it works out. All right, that's pretty good. <clears throat> well, at least you can't find a damage sign for that <laughs> modified size. You have to use a focus for that one. Um, yeah. So what I'm considering, if I should roll out Yoda and try to get in front, uh, maybe hitting some specials uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to try to focus things out. You still have resources, so you should have some removals. So I think the thing is, you can clear out my hand pretty fast. So what I want to do is I want to get down. Are you guys going to miss full speed when you rotate out? Oh yeah. <laughs> I actually, I, I, I think we, uh, you, I think you and uh, Chris in uh, laughed at me, but I think it's very thematic. Uh, I do think it's a very powerful card. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, it might need to be costed more than zero, but, um, <laughs> but I do think it's a uh, thematic-wise a very uh, good card. I, I do like action cheating in general. Um, I do think there's more better ways to uh, implement it into mm -hmm. the game. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead. I'm trying to figure out because he's gonna clear out my hand. Uh, so I know I have one turn to play. I, I need to play a card for my hand. And um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play Force Speed or Force Illusion on Leia. <laughs> Uh, I'll do just just that using this one. Here. Uh, using this one here. Mm -hmm. oh, just a power action here. Yep. Just, just clear it all out. I'll power action for the full. Oh yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah. So that was a uh, EMP, a uh, force okay. jump, and a force meta. And what my consideration was was actually if should I play the EMP grenade to try to get some more discard sides out, um, or uh, or should I pay down the force? Mm -hmm. No, I'm sorry, I also forgot the military. Yeah. 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 Four. Oh, four. Yeah. So there's retreat, send a chamber, force my station to pass by. Um, so it's spent. This might be because I'm not familiar with the. Because Force Jump doesn't seem like that good matchup. Um, yes. 
so at this point I definitely don't need the money. And I don't want to discard to reroll just yet, so I think I'm just gonna power action here and just do full loop of my money. Yeah. It's just showing the same symbol, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so for uh, indirect, um, Change that. <coughs> and there's a mill one. Change that. Mm. Oh, you can only blank damage. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, then it wasn't that good. Uh, then I'm not going to change that. That was, a, that was a blank, right? Yeah. So what I'm going to do is take a shield. And I'm going to mill one. And I'm going to change to here. Take two actions. Uh, and power action, two. Oh, <laughs> very important. Pretty brutal there. Yeah. All right, uh, and then I'm going to kill. Focus into three indirect, and I'll just do my three drops. One, three, one. No. Give the two. So this is going to turn into five. Oh, you don't have any fives. There we go. And it's two here. There we go. Did you get both your fists uh, built? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs flames of the past? <laughs> yeah, 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 you can just mill the shit. Uh, so, I'm gonna play a uh, suppressive fire. Hmm. So what I'm thinking here is Targon's dice is definitely one of the, one of the worst things for me. Um, mm -hmm. Especially with the four speed in the pool. And uh, I want to get rid of that two discard in case it shows up. Because that sort of time walks me. Mm. 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 Focus there. Um, um, So I think I want to use my beguile here. All right. Um, and uh, if we go through the same uh, as before, uh, what I want to get rid of is, of course, this as a main damage dealer. Um, so I'll have you uh, re-roll this. Yeah, and then I can turn this die to any side, which I will probably turn over to a resource as this will be the least impactful right now. So I will pay one to still this. Does it make that much of a difference? Yeah, I do think I want to pay one for the, to get rid of that. Man kan ikke kunne ikke skrælde, men man kan kombinere skrælde. 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 Man kan
think the right signal now because it's going to do it. But how many cards do you have left? Five in hand, three in deck. Three in deck. So what I'll do is. I should have rolled out Yoda first, definitely here. Still have an ambush action here. Yeah, yeah. But you're gonna have some removal. Uh, I'm gonna try to. Uh, I'm gonna power action. Two. Yeah. Power action here. Doing four damage. Yeah. So what are you thinking? So I'm uh, thinking I'm should probably before you rolled first jump I should have just so last yeah round, yeah try to focus into damage focus into damage yeah. on this one yeah. uh, here that was so, uh, so so that was my mistake yeah. um, and that's was also my mistake for not rolling out Yoda first because yeah. because that damage does matter right now yeah very much uh, so now I'm considering just actually mitigating this one here yeah. uh, hoping that you can't clear out my yeah. my whole hand and deck and then uh, you can uh, yeah. Just try to do some something. I'm gonna be doing that, so I'll just impose in presence that one. And that's just one die. Yeah. Um, so what I'll try to do. So you have four cards in the hand now, right? Yep. Yeah. Um, so my chances of hitting a Yoda special is pretty good. Or I could hit, which would also be good. So I think what I'm gonna do is uh, try to re-roll. I'm gonna try to re-roll his. I'm actually gonna keep the two focus here, which I'm not sure is the right call, but um, I should probably re-roll this one. Yeah. So it's pretty lucky. Do this here, and, uh, yeah. and then I'll go and say uh, damage or indirect. Which was pretty good. Yeah, and uh, I'm not doing much else, so I will. Clean. Yeah. So here, and then yeah, take a little bit of a hit here on my hand, but. Uh, so we're gonna hit the last card there, and uh, we're gonna switch this over. And then we're gonna, uh, take a resource, and uh, well, actually, I'm gonna I'm actually gonna take a shield. That would be the right thing. Um, and then we're gonna go to take two land. Mm. So at least I'll 
see some mitigation. So you are with hearts now. Can I see your uh, deck? Of course. So what I'm wondering now is how much mitigation does he have left? Uh, I know it runs a fairly small mitigation package, actually. Yeah. Um, so, it's those. So I always say the easiest way of figuring out if uh, people have mitigation is try to try to count their mitigation <laughs> and then uh, if they have, see, now he has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And he probably has two imposing presents, so that would be ten. That would be a probably a fair mitigation package. So what I'm thinking is uh, he probably has an imposing presence left. Uh, well, I have I have played two imposing presents against you this game. Well, have you? Yeah. Did I miss one? Maybe we just maybe we just cheated with the deck. Uh, yeah, you're, you're known to do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, there we go. So I'm actually thinking you have no mitigation without knowing your deck, but, and I actually don't have your list in my head, so uh, I, uh, I think I'm in a pretty good spot here um, to try to discard having two characters left and you having to do a lot of damage. Yep. Alright, I will uh, I'll roll out snow here. Yeah. A little bit of damage here. Yeah. So uh, what I will do? <laughs> they could do a whole lot of. So you can snipe Yoda, which I'm not very interested in. Which brings him out of lethal with uh, at least. Well, this one it doesn't have three direct. Why oh, doesn't it? It is three indirect. For oh, okay. Well, but it's you know, it's and uh, it's probably you, you don't have to f field medic if you're playing around a three here um, if you don't want to do that. I'm still do now, I sh uh, then I should be safe actually to just simply roll out Leia. I'm just going to put the two into Yoda. Which brings him to nine. And then I'm going to hit you with determination for your two cards. It's definitely one of the cards I put in in the end, simply because <coughs> it, it, if Leia goes down, it keeps Yoda as a. a um, okay. <laughs> So, you can end up doing six. So if I just, you have a max of four and then you can power action, so that's eight. And I have six health there, one health there, so that would be enough. But with my field medic and even a shield, I could get out of, uh, out of that. Mm -hmm. So, I could also simply play retreat. But he has a sure. hand now. But I've oh, picked, oh I've picked sorry. Up my he bounced the chance cube. Ah, of course. Didn't play around that. Yeah. Then I need to wake up from my little daydream here. And then I should probably think. Of course, I didn't think about the chance cube. Damn it. <laughs> Okay, so let's get on. Uh, 
think the right thing is to heal. Sure. Um, you have no direct damage, so it doesn't really matter which. This. We're gonna power action Snoke here and uh, two four, two four in direct. chance to win this game I think. Yeah. And I'll be a sword for speed here. And discard my hand. And, uh, and what? I would say discard my hand. Discard your hand? Yeah. Oh, you can't discard the whole hand, but you, you can't, you, you can But I've, I've used Snoke. Yeah, but you can't get enough damage from your four speed, can you? Oh, for yeah, re-roll. Yeah, yeah, so if, you can get well, six. If, I, if I discard your re-roll, I, I get my one in, uh, what's that, yeah, one yeah, in 36. Yeah, to, to hit two indirect. To hit two indirect, because otherwise you're just going to resolve one shield. And That's then true. I, then and I actually should have resolved Yeah, if you had just resolved yeah, that one, yeah, I would have lost the game right here. Um, but, um, so you got three, two three cards. Because I was thinking you, you take that, Turn it into the two but discard it, and then discard two cards. But that might be better in this spot actually because hitting one in one in thirty six to win here likely. it's not very good. Um, so it might be better to just discard two cards out of your hand. I think so. And then uh, hope that you discard the wheel and get nothing, and hope yep. that I get one more round with my. Uh, exactly. Yeah. So I'm gonna do that. Yeah. I'm gonna, I think that's uh, probably the right choice. Play it safe. Let's get these two out of there. And then I will pitch to reroll. Yep. And that's it. No, no, that's not it. Uh, is it? Yeah, alright, that's gonna be it. Yep. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, definitely. Because I have too much focus. I just need a one, actually. Yeah. Uh, you haven't used the power action, right? I have. You have used the power action. Oh no 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 sorry I haven't. I you haven't. haven't. Okay. No. Because if you had, I could just play here and then, you, um, yeah, I still lose. You still lose. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah. All right. Well. Uh, oh, thanks for uh, yeah, it's very uh, good it's game. interesting. Yeah. Uh, so uh, one thing I didn't know going to, into this matchup and I've learned right now is that so I just put my gun on snow because I wanted to press your hand er mm -hmm. in round one mm -hmm. so I just assume all right I just play four speed and uh, gun here and then I'll just put my chance cube over here and I'll move on to the next round yeah but I think pretty hurtful playing uh, because you got so many uh, the way this deck is built at least uh, you got force waves as well mm -hmm. and then when I don't draw into my fists yep. having putting too much you know, too many upgrades on snow which you know, will eat all my uh, spot blue slots yeah yeah it's so uh, yeah. I would have been better off I think uh, just playing this as my first action and then rolling him out to pressure a hand yeah 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 or yeah I think something and then playing chance cube and force speed over here yeah. Uh, that would have left me one more slot so that here I didn't draw into my my four sweeps came in the second last round and you mm -hmm. milled both both fists yep. but when I did draw this I would have been able to play it without worrying about it uh, yeah, and yeah, I would yeah. have at least one more damage to die yeah. in the pool and so the fist would have changed the game completely of course but, uh, but that's the name of the game yeah, yeah I, mean, <laughs> you know, I, uh, I only mulliganed uh, three cards I didn't hard mulligan after it and uh, I, I didn't disc I, I had some chances where I could have discarded to, mm -hmm. to try to dig deeper into my deck yeah. and try and find and I didn't choose not to do that but it is very risky to uh, also in this in this particular match to, to dig for the I mean, to Mulligan, for yeah, exactly. <laughs> you just know you, there is a certain chance, and I mean, exactly. I, I, I actually, I, I think I kept uh, four speed, and what else did I keep? I, I kept pacify simply mm. because I wanted to get rid of your talking dice. Yeah. 
uh, if they rolled out and 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 that and that, it worked that, out well and it worked out well yeah out. and so what I feared the most was actually the two discard sides on target at all times yeah um, um, so the matchup was definitely closer than yeah. I I thought going into this uh, this one test game here of course had I drawn fist when I was set up for it I would have just you know smashed you out of this game exactly. But uh, yep. you know, you don't always draw your cards. So there is thirty cards in your deck, and you're not always seeing them. And you, Mill is punishing that way. Where had I played against another aggressive strategy, I would have yeah. discarded all my cards, trying to just dig for those fists. Yeah. And I probably got into them around earlier. Yeah. But uh, but that might and I would have gotten and yeah. I would have gotten them you know at one point in the game. But this this yeah, game yeah. because it's Mill, you actually I don't get to play all the thirty cards in my deck. Uh, <laughs> and now you got both both Vader's fist and. Yeah. But you got both of my. Uh, I mean, you got some. I got some cards as well. You got some flames. Um, you got a yeah. commander raid. I mean, I don't yeah. think I was uh, super unlucky. And mm -hmm. that is, as you said, that is just the name of the game. I had a. I had a that that round win when you was. Uh, when I knew you were gonna force speed into the target, uh, two discard, and I, I think my hand was. I, I was circling around. I had a force meditation. I had a senate chamber, um, and I also had a. Commander raid, and I was showing the one discard on on Leia, and I was really thinking like, what 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 was the right yeah, choice? Because I could of course pressure, but I was already pretty low in your deck, so I thought force meditation, maybe keep that out. But I mean, Senate Chamber has just really paid out in a lot of games, uh, and, and it's a free it's, focus. It's a great tech. It's a it's a free focus, and I know my determination wasn't gone yet. And, and one of the things I actually want to change with the deck is actually put in another uh, determination. It, sure. it just because it caught you off guard, and, uh, and and people people don't really expect it, and it just turns. First of all, it enables uh, it enables Yoda for the late game, and also Leia just having three discard sides and two of them twos. Yeah, it's, is just it's super strong. It's just such uh, such a strong tech, and and also with this, it, it brings out two more two focuses that you can use on top of the one discard and on top of the focus you get from the power actions. So.